Welcome to Casual Clicksin's first ever figure ratings video. This video series will aim to bring you somewhat accurate ratings for each character and the thought process that goes behind the specific ratings that I give to those characters. Uh, this episode will feature the Star Lab Scientist number 007. She is a figure from the Justice League Unlimited set. Uh, 15 points, 4 range value. If you look at her dial, it's pretty bare. And you may question, you know, well, how can I specifically rank a figure like this, right? It has no powers whatsoever. Um, it does have a trait that grants it one of six. So I, I mean, I think they're all support powers, like empower, enhancement, support, perplex, outwit, or probability control. You can only use it once a turn. And you keep that power until you activate that trait again. So I just thought I'd give you a glimpse into how it is that I come about to giving these characters their own specific rating. It's not the most perfect system and I'm always tweaking it. Uh, but as of right now, these are the seven categories that I, I usually use to rate characters on. Uh, we'll go through each one, what they mean and what I, when I'm saying that, uh, you know, it's always changing or I'm always updating it. As I'm going through it, if there's something that you see that maybe you would like to contribute and for me to consider and maybe start adding it into the character ratings, uh, that's something I would definitely appreciate you reaching out to me, letting me know what any possible ideas that you have that uh, I can include for these character ratings. But as it stands right now, uh, these are the seven ca uh, categories that I use to rate these characters. Uh, we'll start with the first one point, cost efficiency. Uh, most of the ratings that I do or have been doing recently have been revolving around building 300 point teams. And the fact that Star Lab Scientist is 15 points gives her so many options into fitting into teams. And then when you consider the amount of keywords that she has as well, um, you know, she's just compatible. She's very easy to squeeze into a, a lot of themes. I'm sorry, a lot of teams. And that's what earned her her five star or five point point cost efficiency rating. Uh, just the fact that she's 15 points and she's, I think she's pretty decent for the 15 points and what she brings to the table. Uh, the potential damage. This is the amount of damage that I can expect this character to put out. As you can see, I gave it the lowest rating. And, you know, I picked the Star Lab Scientist on purpose because as I was going through my ratings, I realized that the Star Lab Scientist, if you look at her ratings, she's very polarizing, meaning that some are maxed out and some are at the bottom, right? And that means that usually means that she's a great utility piece that, um, that she's possibly, you know, going to fit into teams because uh, that particular character may have cer uh, certain power or powers um, that just kind of help the team out as a whole. So when it's uh, usually when I see something like this, potential damage is uh, pretty low. Um, it usually means that they're a support figure, so they're probably going to have a lot of utility which is exactly what the Star Lab Scientist has. She has one of six powers, uh, you know, three of which I think are some of the best powers and are the better powers in the game in Perplex Outwit and Probability Control. And the fact that you can keep it until the following turn, until you choose to activate it again, that's what I think kind of sets this character apart um, from other support figures. Uh, going on to keywords, you can see she maxed out that rating too uh, because she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keywords. Eight of those are named keywords. And, uh, you know, if you've been watching my other video series, you'll know that at, here at Casual Clicks, and I value uh, keywords a lot, especially named keywords. So the more named keywords uh, they have, the better. But not only that, some of these keywords are actually keywords that have plenty of characters to choose from so you can you, a lot of unrestricted uh team build options that you have uh, when you start looking into gotham city 
Metropolis. Uh, Metropolis especially could always use uh, the, these lower point figures considering that, you know, Superman and company are usually in the higher point cost range. Uh, so, of course, she's a welcome addition and that's why she got her five points. Special powers and traits. She only has one trait, no special powers, no, no regular powers even, but she still earned the five points because it is a very unique power. Um, so to be able to get that and possibly switch to something else that may be able to help you in another way, like support, enhancement, and power, uh, it just gives her a lot of usefulness and that's what earned her this five star rating or five point rating um, <clears throat> for special powers and traits. And uh, movement and survivability, as you can see, she only got one point and I'll tackle both of those at the same time. You know, her highest movement is eight, which is not too bad, right? But she doesn't have any sort of movement powers like sidestep, anything with improved movement, uh, you know, anything that just kind of helps her to get around like leap climb, um, just completely bare. So that's why she earned that one star in movement and survivability, same thing. She has like no damage reducers, no way to evade damage, nothing like that. And she has a rather low defense too. So uh, these two, she earned one point rating. And last but not least, we get to the character's figure rating. You may be wondering how I came across this particular number, 6.6, .6, um, considering that I'm rating on a scale of one to five here. The way I came across this is because I did want to rate it from a 1 to a 10. Uh, so what I had to do is I assigned each one of these squares a value. If a character can potentially score 25 of those, I'm sorry, 35 of those squares, uh, dividing all those squares by 100, gave us a number that I can assign each one of these particular little squares. Uh, and that number was 0.286. So that means that I just add up the numbers of squares that she scored, which was 23. And I divide that, uh, I'm sorry, I multiply that by 0.286, uh, which gave me this particular rating that you see here. This just helps me visualize things better when I'm going through the whole uh, top 10 ranking for each set. Um, what ends up happening is because a lot of the better characters tend to have more or less the same scores. Um, and that's when uh, some of the some of the things that I look for, in particular in Hero Clicks, when I'm building teams is keywords. Keywords is huge. So keywords, uh, that definitely helps distinguish some of the, some of the tougher choices that I may have when it comes to trying to decide which character should go first, second, third in my top 10 series. Well, that was Star Lab Scientist number 007 from the Justice League Unlimited set. So this is going to be the first of many figure ratings um, that I'm going to bring to you. All of the figure ratings that you're going to see here are going to be off of characters that I've already played before. Um, that's going to be probably my only restriction as to which characters I choose to rate. Um, unless, of course, I want to provide specific examples like I wanted to with the Star Lab Scientist here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first ever Casual Clicksons figure ratings. Uh, definitely going to keep these coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. Um, and thank you so much for watching.